Saturday night baseball coming up from Guaranteed Rate Field in the Windy City. Tonight, game two of this three game weekend series between the Kansas City Royals and the Chicago White Sox. And now, your 2000. It's White Sox baseball, and it Chicago. comes your way next. White Dallas Keuchel is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Southsiders. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, Matty V, this guy lives and dies with one pitch, and that's that powerhouse sinker. Guys often relate it to like trying to hit a bowling ball. When it's good, it's usually at the knees and below, and he's really easy to figure out if he's going to be on. If in the first inning you see a steady diet of ground balls and keeping his infielders involved, there's a pretty good chance he's going to have a rock-solid game. Trying to bunt his way aboard to no avail. It's two and two. Three and two, a full count to the Royal center fielder. And the skies are clear, but that's not helping the temperature much. 45 degrees here at first pitch. Now the three and two pitch. Swing and a shot toward right center. And that'll split the gap as it should be extra bases. And he's going to try for three right out of the chute tonight. And a great start to the game as he's in with a leadoff triple. Talk about auspicious beginnings. That's the way to start an inning, folks. Drives it into the gap at right center, and you see when it rolls to the wall, he puts it into another gear and legs out a triple. There are a lot of ways to score from third with no outs. Stepping in now, Whit Merrifield swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Catch is made in medium deep left center. Here comes the runner for the plate. And he will score on the sacrifice fly as he's in with our first tally of the ballgame. The great job of offensive execution there. Lead off triple and then the sack fly to bring home a run. Set to get his evening at the plate started. George Brett trying to get it going at the plate. It's been tough sledding for him so far this year. Here comes the one two. Bouncer up the middle. And that finds its way through for a base hit. He had him on the ropes right there. Count leverage two strikes against the batter. He's going to have to put that in the memory bank because that guy made a nice two strike approach right there. Made a nice two strike adjustment. Now a move over to first. A dive, but he's back. Brett, base runner at first with one out. At the plate, Salvador Perez. A pitch out. The throw. And just great defensive baseball there as they will nail him at second on the pitch out. Well, it's pretty frigid out there, and I don't know the science behind it. But it seems pretty difficult to get the full speed when it's this cold. Hard to say, but maybe that had a little bit to do with that caught stealing. He's falling behind three now, three and one. And guys, you take a look at the White Sox entering play here tonight. Now they've been on a pretty good roll of late, winners of seven of their last eight ball games. Yeah, Matty, this team is red hot right now. They're really playing well. They threw a shutout in their last game. They're really swinging the bats well. This team is certainly coming together and peaking at the right time. Throw on to the big target of Frank Thomas will take care of him, and that will end the inning. It's a run on two hits here for KC. On now to the bottom of inning number one. It's the Royals one and the White Sox nothing. Danny Duffy is on the mound for game two. Dan Plezak, what's the word on him? You know, Matt, he wasn't all that bad in his last one. In a day and age where we don't see a lot of complete games, six full innings in his last one. And if they can score him a few runs, he has a chance to win this one here today. Here's the catcher, Yasmani Grandal. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. Oh. 
two and one count to the pale hose leadoff hitter. Dan Dero, we take a look at the Royals as they enter play here tonight. Despite the loss last time out, they'd won four in a row, so they've been on a nice little roll here. Yeah, Matty, I know they lost their last game, but you know as well as I do, in this sport, you have to have short-term memory. You have to let it go. go. They can get it going back in the right direction today. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. I got three and two. Yohan Moncada waits on deck. Three-two pitch. Curveball, but a good job to lay off, and he works out the free pass. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, exactly. it's better to battle a slugger like that to the end and end up walking him than serving on up where he can really hurt you. Ready now for the White Sox. Yohan Moncada, first chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. Sends on the ground out to second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will hold up at second with two aboard now. You know, as a former infielder, Danny, they always say you can't be in two places at once, but you've got to be a little frustrated right here to that ball down the hole. Yeah, that's a tough thing. You make a quality pitch, and the guy shoots one through the right side, normally a vacated spot right there. Nine out of ten times, somebody's there to make that play. Unfortunately, not, and now we've got a couple of guys on. So now to the plate, Harold Baines. Uh, and him off stride that time, and it's one and two. Little too much bite on the slider that time, taken outside. A two and two count. Here's the pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Batting four. Up next for Chicago, Frank Thomas. Right. The base knock to the outfield could Not score bad. the tying run from second. And that one got a piece of him. As a manager, you never really want to put a man on by Batting a hit good. by pitch, but you That's absolutely hate hitter. to have it happen Ball. when it loads the bases. Good. Now good. the pitcher is looking a little shaky, and the threat of a big inning is very real. So stepping in is Paul Canerco, trying to bring in the time run from third here. Three balls in a strike. Flirting with a little danger here. He drilled the previous batter, and now he falls behind 3-1 to this guy. The last thing you can do, though, is throw a fastball middle of the plate right here. Hitters count all the way. Here it comes. Now an off-speed pitch gets the outside. It's a cold strike. Ooh, that's a good pitch to take a hack at right there. Change up up in the zone. If you'd like to have that one back. Now the three and two pick. battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. One thing to know is not all strikeouts are true. created equal. No right one there either. he goes down on no strikes not. but he really made that guy on the mound work for it. And when you're doing that in the first inning it can have an effect on how deep he's going to be able to go into this start. There's a big difference between that and going down on three or four pitches. In now Mini Minoso heading out towards shallow right. Here comes Soler. He's got it. And they get out of the jam unscathed. White Sox will strand three. They're down one nothing.
Ready now is Carlos Santana. He's ready for his first at bat of this early season contest. Here comes the one two. Here's a little chopper up the middle. On the first oh. and there's one gone here to start the second. That is it. Okay, guys, here's how the Southsiders are lining up on D today. And, guys, what I want you to focus on today is this is one of the new age teams in the game that really rely on statistics and the numbers. And the numbers tell them that they're a better team defensively, moving guys around and shifting as much as they can. Into the box, Adalberto Mondesi. And it misses three and one now. Well, this next pitch is a big one. The last thing you want to do is give a free pass to a guy that can run like this. He's a real burner out there on the base paths. Hit weakly back to the mound. Throw to Thomas is in time for the out. That is tough. The designated hitter. Hunter Alberto. And digging into the batter's box will be Hanser Alberto. Head to head passed with Dallas Keuchel. He's gone two for five. The 2 2. Here's a swing and a little tapper in front of the mound. And the inning is going to continue here as he reaches on an infield single. What D roll? This looked like one of those easy one, two, three innings. Next thing you know, a little swinging ground ball and a two out infield base hit. Yeah, it's never too late, and you never know when a rally's going to start. It seemed innocent early on. He got two quick outs, but now we see traffic at first. Standing in now, Jorge Soler down the first baseline. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. One left for Kansas City, and after an inning and a half, it's one to nothing. So now to the plate, Louis Aparicio. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 3 1. Hit hard right back up the middle, and he's got a leadoff single. That's the battle, Maddie. Working yourself into a 3 1 What's count. That? Having count leverage Louis. and getting ahead to a fastball. You don't get too many opportunities throughout the course of a game to have full count leverage, and he took advantage. At the plate now, Luis Weber. One and two now as that's in there at the knees. Aparicio aboard here at first with nobody out. Lifted in the air out to center field. Damon will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Batting done. So the here's how the Kansas man. City Royals are positioned Play defensively. And let's North take a look at Vida. Michael Taylor. The ability again to play center field both corners to go get the balls in both gaps and have a strong arm. Into the box now. Leoy Garcia in there. Now the throw. And he skips in as he steals the bag easily. Looked to me like they anticipated him trying to swipe that bag. I mean, the pitcher shortened his delivery to the plate, but it didn't make a difference in the slightest. He still swiped that bag. That's a he lays off it to even the count two and two. Runner at second here with one man out. Count remains two and two. Duffy sets. Here it comes. Popped him up. Santana has room in foul territory, and he brings it in for the second out of the inning. Now batting, catcher, Yasmani. Run, ball. 
striding in is Yasmani Grandal, trying here to plate the tying run from second. The 1-1. One, one. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Runner in scoring position at second with two down. Hit hard back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. And to score the runner from second. We're talking about coming up with a big knock. After that pop up, it looked like the inning was potentially over. Big two out base hit to drive in a run. Yeah, you watch your teammate in front of you miss his pitch. He got a nice pitch to hit right there and pops it up. You could tell he was dejected as he went back to the dugout. All you're trying to do is be a great teammate. Sean Casey always used to say to me, hey, d -Row, mix in a good teammate one time. And that's exactly what this three. guy did. Frozen on strike three for the final out of the inning. Sox get a run here on two hits. And now here is Michael Taylor. He'll begin things here against Dallas Keuchel. Oh, and ouch, that one drilled him. But he is able to recover as he gets the out at first. One away now. Digging in now for Kansas City, Johnny Damon. He smacked a triple and later scored his first time around. Yeah, guys, that was the first triple of the year for him, and you got to believe it's not going to be his last. The way this guy can absolutely fly, any ball in the gap oh, screams cool. triple. And he lays off again, ball three. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, and it's full now at three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Baines is there, and he makes the catch for the out. The batter number 50, second baseman, with Merrifield. With Merrifield next to hit. He hit a sack fly earlier. Bases are empty here with two men out. That's down into left center for a base hit. Boy, just when you're looking for one of those shutdown innings, you get two quick oh, outs, D-roll, the then you give up a two-out base hit to extend the inning. Four. Yeah, you show me a, a big league ball player that's going to give away an A-B. No chance. Everybody's in there grinding every at the bat, every plate appearance. Nice job. Maybe a little two-out lightning start. Now a throw over, oh, and can. the runner back in standing. So now to the plate, George Brett lifted the other way out to left center. Minoso is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Royals leave one. After two and a half, it remains a 1-1 ball game. Bottom of the third now, and that will bring up Harold Baines. One pitch. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. Adios, pelota. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Home run number three here in the early going as the White Sox move ahead two to one.
well. If you're going to give up a towering blast to one of the best players in their lineup, it's better to do it with no one on base. It stings, sure, but a solo shot isn't going to be the deciding factor in a game. To the plate now, Frank Thomas. Still hanging with him. Another good swing to keep it going. No outs, nobody on. Full count now. Three and two. Well, you don't see it all that often, but this might be a good time for a 3-2 change. If he can locate it, it's nearly impossible to hit. Now the payoff pitch home. And ball this four. misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. I know one thing. He earned that free pass right there. He was tempted with some really good pitches, but he stayed disciplined and drew the walk. So next to hit is Paul Canerco. First time up, he went down looking. Thomas gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hit to first. To second for one. To Santana to get the double play. That's one of the hardest double plays to turn right there because of the difficult throw the first baseman has to make. No problem this time, though, and they get the two outs they were looking for. Stepping in now, Mini Minoso. Swing and a miss, and it's a ball and two strikes here. Two out, nobody on. Soft liner towards short. And the throw just does beat him at the bag, so the side is retired. But for the Sox, a run here in the inning on the solo home run. We're through three here on the south side. It's now two to one, Chicago. Welcome back to the south side as we check in with Heidi. Well, Matt, Royals manager Mike Matheny talked with me in between innings about his lineup's offensive production. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up. And he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. All right. Thanks, Heidi. And now, Salvador Perez grounded out in his last at-bat. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Hit the target, but this is low, 2 and 1. Hammered the other way to deep right field. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And that certainly represents a career milestone. Hit number 1,000. Yeah, that's pretty cool. 1,000 isn't a milestone that's going to get everyone talking. But as an individual, you have to feel pretty good about it. He'll definitely be wanting that ball for his trophy case. And now, Carlos Santana. Line drive base hit. Now that At the plate, Adalberto Mondesi. Smoke on the ground up the middle. One there. On to first, and they turn the double play. Well, there's the pitcher's best friend right there. The inning was off to a rough start, right? But nothing changes that like a good old two ball. We'll see if they can strand the runner at third now.
Into the box now. Hanser Alberto. Swing and a miss. And that's out number three. One left for Kansas City. They still trail it here two to one. Just about set to go for the last of the fourth. But before we do that, here's Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, I had a chance to discuss the state of the White Sox offense with their manager in between innings. And overall, he's really happy with the at-bats they're putting together. It's still pretty early in the game, but they've seen a lot of pitches already. And he thinks the two runs they've pushed across so far is just the beginning, given the quality of the at-bats they're putting together. Good stuff, Heidi. Thanks. Ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And next will be the speed threat, Louis Aparicio. Now a flare out toward right center. Merrifield backs up a bit and he takes charge for the first out. Up next for Chicago, the center fielder, Louis Robert. Next to stand in is Luis Robert. Flew out in his only at bat so far. Fourth inning of a two to one ball game. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Taylor is there. He hauls it in without any trouble, and there are two away. Now batting the second baseman, Leore Garcia. Next to hit, Leori Garcia popped into foul ground his last time up. Yeah, this one's going to upset him for a little bit. You make the pitcher work the way he did right there, and that's the end result. That one sticks with you for a while. Another 1 2 delivery. Look out! That one almost got away from him. 2 and 2 now. Two runs, four hits, and no errors so far for the White Sox. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now, three and two. Yosmani Grandal would be next if they can keep this inning alive. And this is yanked hard down the left field line. And now this will get over the wall down the line out there for a ground rule double. Pretty good now swing that. right there Kester. as he drives this ball Get deep. Money. One hops over the wall, Run and ball. he can just walk into second base with a ground rule double. Standing in now, Yosmani Grandal. <laughs> Garcia stands at second with two gone. And another foul ball. One and two. Here it is. To two balls and two strikes now. Stays alive here as he gets a piece of this, and in turn, he gets a piece of the catcher behind the plate. High in the air, carrying well out to deep center. A ball that's carrying on the warning track. He makes the catch. Two out double left stranded. More from the show, Saturday Baseball, following this message and a word from our local stations. All ready to go in the top of the fifth. And digging in is the outfielder, Jorge Soler. That misses two and one. He 
into the windup and the pitch. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Uh, three one. Hey. And a good eye here as he takes ball four, and it's a base on balls to lead off the fifth inning. Well, there's only a one-run cushion to play with, so he's got to be upset after he walked the leadoff man here. Go-ahead run comes to the plate, and there are no outs. This could be a very interesting inning. So next to the plate for the Royals, Michael Taylor, he bounced out last time up. Fifth inning, two to one our score. Pitch taken several three inches three below three. the zone, in fact. This situation right here reminds me of sitting on the bench talking to John Smoltz, Hall of Famer. He would always say, even though the situation looked bad, a pitcher is one pitch away from getting himself out of a tough jam. And boy, that misses as well. It's back-to-back -back walks to start out the inning. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Batting order turns over and set to go. Johnny Damon, one for two in the game. He tripled and scored back in the first. Here's a little chopper up the middle. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that will play one for sure and maybe a second. So much of this game is situational hitting, guys. Nice job there. Yeah, you've got to find a way to pick your teammates up when you're given a chance and he doesn't try to do too much right here he just takes what's there safely on second and his buddy is high-fiving teammates in the dugout at the plate now Whit Merrifield grounded weakly toward third and indeed he'll take only the out at first as the run comes in to score Really good job of putting the ball in play right there. Even though it wasn't a base hit, it does bring the go-ahead run for his team. A man at second with one down. And up next, it'll be the Hall of Famer, George Brett. Three runs, seven hits, and no errors so far for the Royals. Oh, no. That screaming comeback would nail them. No chance to recover, and let's hope he's okay out there. Nowhere to go as he's tagged out between third and home. And mm, it looked like he really left himself open after he released, and this ball came back and got him pretty good. And without speculating too much here, it's looking, at this point at least, like he will be able to continue out there. We should hope. So now to the plate, Salvador Perez on a line. That's a base hit in the left field. Hey, guys, this, he's not known for being a singles hitter right here, but that's his second knock of the game. And I'm sure he'll take him, but the guys on the other side of the scorecard might be thinking we really avoided a worse fate. to the plate now. Carlos Santana hit down the line at first. Scooped up. Thomas will take this one over to first and with that the inning ends. So two runs on three hits. No errors and a couple of men left. Last half of the fifth coming up. Royals out in front. Three to two. Bottom of the inning now and that will bring up the former top prospect as a minor leaguer Yohan Moncada. This pitch is popped up. Merrifield is calling for it. One away. Now batting. Right fielder. Harold. Baines. That'll bring up Harold Baines. It was a solo shot for him in his last at bat. He turned around that fastball and drove it out of the park in his previous at bat. So there's got to be a good chance they mix it up right here on him and try and go off speed. 
in front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. Now the payoff pitch home. Pulled toward right center field. Center fielder on the run. He's got it. A nice play there. Two away. The first baseman, number 35, Frank Thomas. So the bases are empty with two gone now. And here is the big hurt, Frank Thomas. Guide into straightaway right. So there on the move. He takes the turn and heads for second. And now that'll hop over the wall. So he'll be at second here with two away on a ground rule double. Paul Gunnerka. Into the box, Paul Canerco. And a check swing here as he couldn't help himself, and it's ruled strike two. Still one and two. Canerco lays off a pitch that misses, so it's back to even at two and two. Hey, if you're going to throw a pitch like that to this guy, that's right where you want to miss. Any lower, and he'll probably make you pay for it. Two and two. Here it is. Solid contact there as this ball is belted high in the air out to left. Taylor has to retreat to the track, but he has it to retire the side. Clearly enjoying their time here at the ballpark, as are we. We're back with more on this Saturday night after this. Your Evan Marshall please. takes over to start the now sixth inning on the mound. Number 43. Evan Marshall. All set for the start of the inning. And striding toward the plate next will be Adalberto Mondesi. Now the one and one pitch he is swung on and missed, and that's strike two. two. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. It's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base. And that's now just batting. what they did right there. The Big strikeout, hitter. keep that guy off the base pass. At the plate, Hanser Alberto. Here's another shot down the line in right. He's around first, heading for two. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. Their own pitcher is absolutely dealing right now. So this is a big moment in this game. If his teammates can pick him up and drive him in now, that might be all they need to get the W here. In now, Jorge Soler. One and two is the changeup had him out in front there. Wow, what makes it so tough to be a hitter is to be able to hit and change his speeds, right? You're geared up for the fastball, and all of a sudden, he pulls the string and throws you the straight change, the dreaded equalizer. So he sets him down swinging. Jorge Soler goes down for out number two in the top half. Michael A. So a runner at second, two down now, and that means batting next will be the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. One and one. Here it is. This is on the ground over the first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. So no runs on a hit here. No errors. One man left on. 
Six, seventh, and eighth place hitters due up in the bottom of inning number six. It's the Royals three and the White Sox two. Chris Bubich will come on out of the bullpen as he'll be appearing in his third game this season. Number 50, Chris Bubich. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and next will be a speed thread in the form of outfielder Mini Minoso. From the windup, the 1 1 pitch. Looking to drop one down, but he can't make contact. One and two. Hot shot to third and handled for the first out. Now batting, shortstop, Luis Aparicio. Next, here is Louis Aparicio. His line includes a single and a fly ball and two at bats thus far. Tries to drag his way on here, but now he's behind one and two. Three twos are scored here in inning number six. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there. Two away. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high now fastball. A high fielder. piece of cheese Louis. swung at and missed. That pitch Whoa. looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Standing in now, Luis Robert. Two and Two one. One strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. Fouled away. Down the third baseline. That's through, and he's got his first base hit. He's one for three. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. No runs on a hit, no errors, and no one left. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Royals three and the White Sox two. Garrett Crochet is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 45. Garrett. <laughs> Stepping in now, Johnny Damon. And a good take there as they'll have a leadoff man aboard to start the seventh. It's ball four. He's really struggled with his command in this game. No doubt about it. But to make things worse, he just lost one of the fastest guys in the ballpark. Now to bat, Whit Merrifield. He's working on a one for two game so far. Damon on at first. Nobody out. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Robert will settle under it to make the play for the first out as the runner will have to head back to first. Now batting, third baseman, George. So here is George Brett. He's two for three and looking for more here. Throw over to first. No, he's in there. The one one is laid nope. off of down and in. Two one. Here's a pop up now. Moncada is over and he tucks it away for the second out. Now batter, the catcher, Salvador. Perez. And up steps Salvador Perez. So far, two for three in this one. Oh, oh he breaks oh. and they've got him picked off. And they got him at second base on a good, smart play that time. 
The Royals' bats are quiet there, and it remains a 3-2 ball game. Leading off the inning, it'll be Leury Garcia. They'll look to spark the offense and even things up. Down by one. I'm interested to see how they approach this as an offense, especially if they get someone on base early in the inning. Some teams, you know, they're going to try and manufacture that run, just trying to get that one run across. Others, they're going to look for one or two big swings to make it happen. And two and two. Some action out in the bullpen. Couple of right-handers starting to loosen up. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at and the count moves full. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Too close for comfort and he did a good job just to make contact. Payoff pitch one more time. Hit hard on the ground at third. Brett is there for it. And there's one away. Well, I think he got away with one right there. It was a fastball right down the middle. And he hit it hard, but he couldn't elevate it at all. Would have been a different story if he did. And it's fouled away. Very tight ball game. Three to two, our score in inning number seven. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Now another two-two. Fastball is outside, and it's full now. Three and two. These last two guys are making him work quite a bit out there. Both have been long at bats, and all in all, he's had to make 13 throws just to them so far. Now the payoff pitch home. Drilled the first. And that's the second out. Now batting third baseman, Yoan Moncada. So here's Yohan Moncada. He's working on a one for three thus far. The one one. Hey, last two pitches back to back off speed. Then he's laid on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. One, two, three, go the White Sox. Still a 3-2 ball game. No, Matt Foster has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Number 63, Matt Ready to begin the eighth, and next will be the power hitting catcher, Salvador Perez. Now the one and one pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. The one two. I got the count. Two and two. Swing and a ground ball for Aparicio. It's short. Throw on the first in time, so the leadoff man is set down to open up inning number eight. Well, 
Here's Carlos Santana now. The one two. Line toward right center. And a knock for him this time. He's two for four for the game. Up next to the ball. Number four. That'll go for number four. At the plate now, Adalberto Mondesi. Mokata has it. The second for one to Thomas. They get them both, and the side is retired. Nothing doing for the Royals. They're up three to two. Scott Barlow is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 58, Scott Barlow. Stepping up is Harold Baines. Flew out last time up. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this A.B. Here's the payoff pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Chasing after it is Taylor. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. The first baseman, number 35, Frank Thomas. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Frank Thomas. He doubled his last time up. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same oh, right here. Three and one now. Waiting next is Paul Canerco. This one, everything we could have hoped for. Three to two in inning number eight. Aye. He takes a cold strike at the knees, and that'll run Three things full. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. Hit on the ground down the first baseline. Santana's got it. Oh. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Up next to the right side. The designated hitter. Paul. Good. Wait now is the designated hitter. Paul Canerco. He hits with two away as they continue to trail in this close game. Well, Matt, this has been a big inning on the mound. He's had to face the middle of the order, and so far he's held them at bay. Yeah, this feels like the kind of inning we'll look back on at the end of the game, even if the result of it changes dramatically here. Hit sharply on the ground. Close play at first, but he's called out, and the side is retired. Down in order go the White Sox. They trail 3-2. to two. Aaron Bummer enters from the pen to start the ninth the inning as he'll try to keep the score Double right where it is heading to the bottom Aaron. of the ninth. Bummer. Set to start the ninth in this one. And striding forward, the designated hitter, Hanser Alberto. A 1 1. Hard hit ball to second. Reined in. Throw on to first for the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. The right field, number 12, Jorge Soler. In is Jorge Soler, and he hasn't quite had the same fortune at the plate as many of his teammates. No hits for him so far. That's ball three. Ball three. 
One thing that could but nag at you as a pitcher is having to work really hard to get a guy that you think you should be able to cruise right through. He's not known for his offensive prowess, but he's putting together a real nice at bat here. One run game here in the top of the ninth. Swung on and missed three and two. What I love right there is just the freedom in that hack. He ain't trying to do anything but hit the baseball as far as he can. Hit in the air down the left field line. Minoso is right there as he'll put it away without much problem for the second out. The left fielder, number two. Michael A. Taylor. Next up is Michael Taylor. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Good pitch there down below the zone. Got him to go after it. Hey, this could be a huge momentum swing for this team right here. Relief pitcher has come busting through the gates and done his job. Try and get this team back in the dugout where the offense can get rolling. The 2 2 is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. KC down in order, but they still lead it 3 to 2. Kyle Zimmer enters the game to finish this one off here in the bottom of the ninth. Number 45, Kyle Zimmer. Now it'll be Mini Minoso. He could really use a knock here 0 for 3 in the game so far. High in the air down the right field line. Solaire's after it. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. The batter number 11. Shortstop. Louis. Aparicio. Now with the plate is Louis Aparicio. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Fouled off. Bases are empty. One man out. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Grounded up the first baseline. Another try at two two. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. Santana in foul ground, but this will land untouched. Hey, if he's going to execute that curveball, and that's the first one of the day, if he's going to execute it like that, be on the lookout for that one. That's going to be a big pitch for him today. And he'll get to see another one. It'll be the tenth pitch of this at bat. Hey, five foul balls in a row, loving the battle in the box right here, making the pitcher work. Not where he wanted that fastball to be, and it's three and two now. After multiple pitches were fouled off, it gets a little disappointing as a pitcher. So you think, say, I'm going to throw one way off the plate and see if he'll chase it. Didn't happen. Something has to give. Here's the payoff pitch. And he finally wins the battle as this is swung on and missed for the second out. White Sox down to their final out. And that brings up Luis Robert. Now the one and one pitch is laid off for ball two. Fans on their feet in a one run ball game in the last of the ninth. Taking called strike two. And now they're down to their final strike tonight. 
Hey, I still believe in my heart the best pitch is a well-executed fastball down the way, and that's exactly what that is. He swings at that. That's off the end of the bat. That's not hard contact at all, and that's an easy out for the defense. The White Sox down to their last strike. And he lays oh, off ball four. So now the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Man, you hate to give up a two-out walk to anybody, but especially to the a speed baseball. demon like him. Lay good chance in. he's running here, and good, good luck trying to stop him. Digging in, the switch hitter, Leury Garcia. He'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that time run from first. Outside the throw, not in time as the offline throw allows him to get in there easily. It was pretty obvious he would likely be on the move with two outs, and I'm sure the defense knew it too. But he has lightning speed and was able to take the bag anyways. Two out here and a runner at second. Two and two the count. <laughs> Two and two. Here it is. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this A.B. hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Has them down to their final strike. Here it comes. Grounder down the line at third. <laughs> him out so he'll strand the possible tying run at second and a great job of working out of trouble as this ball game is over. Hey this was a pretty tightly played game. Got a little bit of everything in this one. Some timely hitting, runs on the board, key pitching and defense in certain spots. This one was a fun one to watch. Three to two the finish in tonight's game. Kansas City used a nice fifth inning to take the lead and they never gave it back. Danny Duffy earns his first win of the season. Kyle Zimmer earns the save out of the bullpen, his fourth of the season. So that will wrap things up. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our whole crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, head to theshow.com. Our final line score tonight. First for the victorious Kansas City Royals. Three runs, 11 hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. For the White Sox, two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left seven men on base. The winning pitcher is Danny Duffy. His record is now 1-0. The loss goes to Dallas Keuchel. He falls to 0 and 2. Time of the ball game: two hours and 55 minutes. Thank you for joining us here tonight, and we remind you to please drive home safely. Thank mm -hmm. you.